well, you know, golly, I was looking at the list of people who were going to be here, and I thought, well, you know, there are actual professional comedians here. You know, we have Penn and Teller, and we have Julia here, and Dean Cameron, who is scheduled. I don't know if he's here. Uh, if he's not, I guess I, I'll be a little bit funnier in comparison. But I, I, the picture from a, a movie that, I, that he was in many years ago that just absolutely cracked me up. It was a great movie. And so, you know, I was thinking, oh, you know, I shouldn't try to compete with these people. And then I thought, well, you know, last year, there were, some, there were some people who were funny, maybe not on purpose, but you know, we did have a good time because then of course later we were all shocked and, and probably the, the best time we had was to find out that Hal actually was a Chippendales dancer. That, was, that, was, that actually turned out to be a lot of fun. And, and now yesterday, and then I was watching yesterday, I was watching Jeannie and Michael and these other people and they were being so funny and I thought, well, you know, what am I going to do? What is a scientist to do in this case? Well, what is a scientist to do when you have, when you, you know, I, I was racking my brains, or what am I going to talk about here? I've already, you know, Planet X is over and the moon hoax is going away, and, and uh, you know, what am I going to talk about? And Randy and, and Linda kept emailing me, so what's the topic you're talking to be? It's like, oh, it'll be something about astronomy. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it. In November, I was still kind of thinking, what am I going to talk about? I realized I couldn't turn to science. I had to turn to a higher authority. Now, some of you who've read my website may have seen this. But last November, and I, li I live in California, Northern California, where it's very cold, actually, in November. And um, I was uh, wondering what I should do for my talk. And I got up in the morning, and I go into my bathroom, and I take, take a shower. And um, after my shower, I am wet. This would be a scientific principle. Get in water, get wet. So I reach out to get my towel. As I'm telling myself off, I look on the shower curtain, and there is a pattern in the shower curtain, OK? And you've probably seen this. You've seen, you know, you get water on the shower curtain. You see little patterns or faces or whatever. However, the pattern I saw was so strikingly like a face that I was, I was moved emotionally. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I actually rushed out of the bathroom with my towel around my waist. I didn't actually yell Eureka, so I'm just going to. But I ran down to the, uh, to the kitchen to grab my, my camera to get a picture of this. And my wife, who uh, has to listen to me all the time, uh, immediately figured that I was just, you know, exaggerating this because I tend to do that sometimes. Uh, but, but then she thought to herself, you know, I'm basically naked wearing a towel, I'm wet, and it's cold in the house, so this must actually be something worth being cold for. So she actually followed me back and looked at the, looked at the face and was actually, to my surprise, she was shocked, and that's when I knew I was onto something. Here is actually the, the picture I took of the shower curtain. Um, here's the tile. Okay, and my peeling ceiling, we've actually painted since then. But here's the shower curtain, and, and you can see that there's a face here. It's hard to see in this picture. So, and, and okay, and I will be honest with you. Okay, these are just pictures I took on my camera. What I did was I used Photoshop. I, I just drew a circle around that and then brought the contrast up a little bit. That is all I have done. I have not manipulated this picture in any other way. Here is a higher contrast shot of this. Okay, and if you can't see this well, it's on my website, www.badastronomy.com, where you can buy my book online. And you can see that this is a face. This is actually an extremely striking face. We saw pictures of faces in buildings and tortillas. I think Michael showed one or two of those. And, and you see these all the time, the face of the Virgin Mary and all these. And those always look, you know, kind of like a face. You can say, well, I can see a face in that. But this is actually... A face. I mean, look at that. That is really amazingly looks like a face. And I and I thought, wow, I'm getting I'm getting a vibration, an energy from this face. It was the face of someone who I felt was possibly a bad man. Maybe he wanted to be a good man, but he was a bad man. He, I think he was responsible for a lot of a lot of pain and suffering, possibly a lot of deaths. And then when I looked at the picture and I saw these orbs here. Oh, I knew I was onto something. I realized these are the departed souls of somebody. What's going on here? And actually, what I realized is that it was a picture of Lenin. <laughs> Look at that, okay? No fooling. Actually, to be honest, when I first saw this, I, it looked like Lenin to me immediately. I went on Google into Google Images and typed in Lenin. Well, VI Lenin. If you type in Lenin, you get different stuff. But this was actually the fourth picture that came up. On the, it was on the top row. And I mean, look at this. The eyebrows, the, the beard, the little bit of the tie. There's even the, 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 you know, the shadow on his forehead here. And I was really struck by this. And of course, then, then clearly the orbs were the, were the people who died in the, the revolution of Russia. And I thought, well, no, I don't think that's right. It's not really going to help me with my talk at the amazing meeting. So I don't, I don't really see how this is going to help me. And then I thought, not the amazing meeting. Wait a second. And then I looked at it more carefully. And I realized it wasn't Lenin. It's Randy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
there's a, there's a shadow there too. So he's not wearing glasses, but I figure, you know, it's it's a, sh yeah, it's a shower curtain. Okay. What really ticked me off about this whole thing is that I mean, actually, this this is great. I mean, this it's just coincidence. I happen to get pictures of it. This is one of the best examples of this I've seen. I'm, I'm Bob Carroll will help me on the pronunciation here. Pareidolia. Where is Bob? There he is. Is that is it? Pareidolia. Okay, this, this is a horribly spelled word with like 15 vowels in it. I think it's a Dutch word. And it just, it's seeing faces in random patterns. And I almost, I came so close to saying, you know, I could give my talk about just astronomical objects that look like other things. And I've been wanting to develop that talk for a long time. I'm really happy I didn't because yesterday Jeannie Scott stole all my jokes. Where are you, Jeannie, wherever you were? With, uh, okay, there she is, with, the, with the, the nebula that's shaped like, well, it's shaped like this, right? And, and in astronomy, that's called the FU nebula. That's what we call it. And that was actually going to be the last slide I showed. So I'm really, really glad I didn't go that route on the talk, as if by providence. Hmm, makes you wonder why I didn't go that way. In fact, since uh, this does look like Randy, and it did look like Lenin, actually, and this is clearly a paranormal event, I have to ask, as I did last year, Where's my million? <laughs> but I'm kicking myself about this because, you know, the, the Virgin Mary in the side of a building and, and the nun bun, the, the Mother Teresa in the, in, the, in the muffin and all that stuff. These are things you can, you can keep with you and hang around. Mine was, you know, water. So five minutes later, it had evaporated and it was gone and that was that. So I wouldn't need the million from Randy because I could have visitors come, but I don't know if people would come from Russia or, or possibly Fort Lauderdale to see Randy's face in my shower curtain. So. So I decided to go with some different topics this time.